as you just saw, I found a decent way to use contact sensors on your garage door to let you know if it's open or closed. Now I have this running in conjunction with Sonoff switches, and this is working with SmartThings using a virtual garage door controller to allow me to open and close them from SmartThings, and using these contact sensors, it lets me know if it's open or closed. So let's jump right in, and I'll show you how I did it. Hey, what's up guys? It's Drew from Taylor Tech, and on this channel, we do smart home tech reviews, installations, and DIY guides. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any time, check out the video description for product links for everything I mentioned in this video, show notes, and any other information you may need. Also, the comment section is down there, so be active in there and I will be sure to get back to your comments. I do apologize, since we are in the garage, the audio is a little bit echoey. I'll try to fix that as best as I can in post, but unfortunately it is what it is. So what we previously did for both of our garage doors was put the sensor on the bottom of the door itself and the magnet installed on the ground. In this example, I put a bunch of that metal HVAC tape just to hold the magnet down because glue or anything else I tried just wasn't good enough to hold it down. And while this did work, it just doesn't look very good. And uh, like I said, it just doesn't always land right where it's supposed to. So I was searching for a better solution. This is what I found. Using just an ordinary hardware hinge, we can go ahead and install that on the sill of the garage, but we're gonna be putting it right about here on this top panel and install the magnet on that. And then we'll go ahead and put the sensor just below that hinge. So as you saw, when the hinge is in the straight position, the magnet will be on the actual hinge itself and it will be lined up with that contact sensor. And then when the garage door is up, the magnet will be away from the contact sensor, allowing it to show open. It's as simple as that. So let's get started. I'm well aware that there are dedicated Z-Wave garage door tilt sensors for made for garage doors. Since I have two garage doors, I don't want to spend 30 bucks a pop when I have a bunch of these contact sensors laying around. So I figured I'd spend a couple bucks on hinges and we'd be good to go. And it seems like this system has been working great so far. So that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like down below and consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.